Good day, YouTubers. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls from all around the world. I'm just going to show you what I'm doing this morning to uh, prep for these little vent houses that are going to sit on the deck. One of them is for the battery box and the other one will go on the other side. The uh, instructions call for trim to go around them in two layers. We got one on the top and one on the bottom. And then we got some little planks that are going to go in there and cover up the brass on the corners. And then we got planking to go on the top. So <clears throat> I got to make eight of these for each little house. Yesterday I glued these four on just to get a feel for what I was in for. <clears throat> And I was using the nippers to cut them and then sand them, and cut them extra long so I could put them on the sander and sand them down to the proper length. And that was a lot of work. So what I decided to do was go ahead and set up my little miter box and using one of these as a template. I can cut them to the exact distance as the template. So I'm going to lay this on there where I know the end is matching. You can see that there. And when I know this is good here, I'm taking the knife and, and scoring a little mark in the top of the board. And then I'm going to lay it up in here, <clears throat> the 45 degree cut mark. And using these little pegs that came with the miter box, I can trap that board there almost where you can let go of it and then with the miter saw come down on that mark I made with the exacto knife twist this enough where it's grabbing that thing gives me a nice clean cut all I got to do is <clears throat> rough sand the edges a little bit to clean it up and then mark the next one and go on so I got 16 yeah 8 and 8 is 16 to go and I, I've only got like 6 done so I'm gonna keep on trucking here cutting these and getting them ready to glue up Well, I got them all cut, but one of them I check and some of them, and one of them is way too short, but so now I'm having to check each one for fit before I glue it on there. And of course, it's easy to get too much glue. So 
So now we'll set this one up here and see. We're checking over here to see if it's hanging out too much or it's too short. So we're going to sand a little off of that. Check it again. Mm. That looks better. Now we can gop it up with glue. top here is really the top but we got the little house upside down top one's easy because we're setting it on the table when we get to that other one that's a little bit harder so now we got one more left here I'm going to have to recut one. Oh, look at that. We just got to sand a little bit off of there. It's easy to sand too much. Especially if I use that little electric belt sander. Yeah, that's perfect. That belt sander has really moved some material now. And this one we're going to put some on the miter cut on both ends. Make sure we got enough glue everywhere. I use this as a counterweight so it don't move while I'm pushing on it. And then we can use a stick. Rub some of that glue off. And then when we get done, we're going to move it a little bit so it won't stick to the deck here. And now I got to recut one of these because that one's too short. So I'm going to use one of these as a template. Where'd my knife go? I bought this miter box when I was doing the bounty, HMS bounty. I think I got it at Michael's or Hobby Lobby, one of the two, probably Michael's.
but it works really good for precise little cuts like this where I want to be as close to a 45 degree angle as I can I'm just rubbing this edges on the sandpaper here to knock off some of them burrs now that one's good this one's too short so we're going to put it off to the side and we got to check this Yeah, it's okay if it's too long. It's like a wire. If your wire is too short, you're in trouble. You got to pull a whole new wire. So it's too long and it's quite almost uh, a couple millimeters too long at the butt of the cut. So I'm going to scoot this forward. So I can get a better mark on here. And then I'm going to go over to the sander. Yeah, that. So if I sand at that angle up to that mark and leave the mark showing, I should be okay. Make sure you guys can see this. That's a lot easier than trying to take off a bunch of material. Now, before we put glue, we're going to check it again, because, yep, that's good enough. So, we just keep going around, and we're going to put some planks on this baby. We got one of them ready to plank up. Checking each cut. It's hard to let go of the tweezers and not have your workpiece move. So, and then another little trick I was doing was adding some glue in this seam here between the the brass and that wooden plate that's in there in the middle and this outer board we ran this will be the bottom of it so you won't see this I'm just touching that to make sure it's not sticking up too much so we can do the next piece and that one's too long by at least a millimeter So if it's a small amount like that, I try not to use that electric sanding dust though, <clears throat> because <clears throat> it'll take off more than you think. And you're having to cut a new piece. It's hard to gauge how much you're taking off.
when you're sanding like this. So, let's test fit it and see. So it's still a little too much sticking out on the butt on this end. There we go. So, as you can see, I just work my way around until I get done with that. And then I'm going to, this one I just finished, I'm going to cut some plank boards. Let's see if you guys can see this. So we got to do a little bit of plank boarding on the corners to cover up the brass, which is a pain in the. Mm. And then some looking like popsicle sticks on the bottom. That's probably so they can lift it with ropes out of the opening and then a bunch of planks on the top so what else have I done this week let me zoom back to normal here Get this Yeah, I got some lumber sitting in here I got to put up in the loft and uh, show you guys what else I did this week. So, you know, last week we made a, a stand for some plants in the greenhouse. So this week I built a second one and I got it sitting here on its side because I haven't moved it in position yet and stood it up but uh, that took about a day and a half to cut and screw together but I'm sure she'll like it I'm already getting tomatoes over yonder I'm getting some tomatoes over here Got some potatoes started. These are potatoes here. We're probably going to move them out to the other bins. Lettuce, onions, parsley, strawberries. Let's mosey on back here and see what the kooks are up to. Yes, yeah, so these are all potatoes here. There's one, two, three kooks. Hello, girls. Smile, you're on candid camera. And my wife gives them uh, She'll pull a bunch of weeds and stuff while she's um, cutting vegetables. So any um, vegetables that are bolting or getting out of hand, she'll cut off and make a bucket full along with some corn and bread and stuff like that. And we throw a bunch of that in there every morning 
just to help them. She got three eggs today. And this thing broke when I was using it yesterday, so I did a repair. You can see where it broke there. So I took a piece of flat bar that would fit inside of this and drilled a hole in it where the old brake was at and then drilled and tapped two 632 screws in there so that thing should last for till I break another leg or that's one of the arms that goes on the top when it opens up but that's an example of a home time repair I busted off a tap in this hole when I was doing it 632 tap broke off in there when I was threading it so I had to drill a new hole start over but we've got her fixed and now we can put her back in the storage spot see the finished product there and what we got here we got these lids all glued up I'm gonna let them dry and sand a little bit of the edges before I Put them on there. Well, we did get the hard part done this week. So, <clears throat> what's next? Standing rigging. Yep. Get to do some strings. A standing rigging. Thanks for watching.